here. We're here for. You said it was the go home show. Is that correct? For uh, yeah, five days for hell on earth. Hell, uh, hell yeah. Um, we're gonna do the raw today. Uh, what have we got booked for hell on earth? Good question. Uh, boy, yeah. All right. Um, <laughs> Cena Lashley. <laughs> Uh, the three so stages I of think, hell. I think that's not yet a three stages of hell match. I think you're right. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, we have high art going on over here. In the... I love this feud. It's pretty fantastic. And then we have uh, Big Show Burke in the, in the Extreme Rules, probably for the IC belt. That makes sense. It does. It, it it would. It would make sense. I have on my list Shark versus Mr. Kennedy and MVP versus Doug Basham as the other matches. However, that was literally. Oh, never mind. I think that's no, I think is that literally April. There's no way it's April. That's got to be November, right? I need to double check this. What do you mean? Okay, yeah. It's no so it was doing 11:04:23. Oh. And I see. Yeah, uh, yeah. So I was like well, there's no fucking way. But I I thought that the dates were British style on my Discord, but guess not. Uh, okay. So anyway, that plan's going to change. Either way, I'm pretty okay with filling out the rest of the card with SmackDown unless you have stuff you want to add to that from Raw. No, I, I think we're pretty much good on that card, to be honest. Like, it's all about the, the three stages of hell. Um, the IC title match should be pretty good. The US title match could perform pretty well. Potentially. I think we wanted to maybe do something with the cruiserweights. Like, I know we had this idea that Millennium were going to fight Lundrick for the belts, and then one of Lundrick were going to fight Roddy for the belt. So I, uh, we'll have a look when we get to SmackDown. Yeah, I think time. I think I had thought about um, Kaz and Bourne going for the tag belts now that Roddy is the cruiserweight champ. The world champ, yeah. Um, I guess I should say world champ, yeah. How terrible of me. I mean, yeah, I, I'm very thinking about that, but yeah, I, I try to. Um... Yeah, I guess we can worry about that when we get to SmackDown. I guess for Raw then, so like... Nash and Sean are fighting. What did we have for Triple H down? Was he he's out of that feud, right? What well, so about <laughs> last week's Raw? I've thought for the past two days about Triple H. Oh, okay. I keep getting nothing. Well, I know my thoughts are mainly just what do we do with this fucking weirdo? Well, he's re he's uniting with a new ally soon, and he is winning a championship soon. So he's not a million miles away from a uh, from a direction. That's true. That's true. And then I feel like with that stuff, once we kind of get into that lane with him, the gangster lane. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but once we once we get into that for him, we should start hopefully getting some more natural ideas, natural things just popping up. Maybe we just let him go. Could do. Could do. Um. Could you look at last week's Raw for me? Just give me an idea of where we're at on these storylines. Uh, yeah. So we kick things off. Edge is dead. Oh, Edge. Okay, Edge dies in that angle. Yep. Right. Um. Hmm. What the hell is that's oh, the part of the yeah, reality they're, TV yeah, show yeah, the right. I was like, this sounds like garbage. I was like, oh, it is garbage. Never mind. Yeah, it's we're good. Yeah, we're yeah, good. Yeah. We're good. Jeff um, Hardy defeats Mark Henry. Wait, was that? Yeah, that was in the rematch, right? The Mark Henry Jeff Hardy. Yes, match? that that was, was the, the rematch, rematch from the SNME, yes. I think. No, no, it was from that. It was from that raw you were just on. You just yeah, missed it. I see. He was Down there. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, he had beaten he had beaten up Matt, and that's why Jeff was like, "Ah, I gotta get him." Are the Hardy still? No, they're not, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, they're not. Interesting. Is there someone Mark Henry could ally himself with? 
Actually, never mind. But for now, we can just do a handicap match because that's fun and based. Oh, yeah, that is kind of heat. Um, anyway, yeah, so this is still the Raw. DVD Realm is Coach. Yeah, that's Coach. Are you going Cena clear the air? What's this about? Um, did Cena go to DMLS for some reason? Because that's clearly what this fight, is. Were they teaming or something? Was was Regal like, I don't like you, you're just the enemy of my enemy or whatever? Maybe, that's unreasonable. Trish stops a revolution. Yeah, I don't... Um, maybe they were all involved here, and they all helped each other out. So, oh, yeah. And totally. then... Maybe maybe Regal landed the blow or something that helped Cena win this or something. I don't. Remember. I think. Well, I know DMLS came out to save Cena during that match. Yeah, and I just remember it being like a big thing. Like, oh shit, Regal helped Cena out. Like he yeah. contributed. Um, week four of June is upon us. Have you decided what to do with Pool Area Man? Do you know who Pool Area Man is? I I do, and that's a. F- fucked up way to refer to it <laughs> he could have just oh, said his oh, name is this oh, i think i know who this is as well. yes yeah we're just leaving him alone he's in japan on his own yeah so he's, we'll, he's in we'll japan leave, leave him alone. yeah that's crazy yeah. pool area man damn he wasn't even my... in the pool area the dogs were what the hell made up my mind i'm having shelton win the 2007 money in the bank only to be taken by edge like irl then he wins the title clean later in the year i like that i actually like that a lot um, Kevin Nash beat Carlito. Yeah, boy. I can't believe, by the way, Nash almost outperformed him. Of course, Carlito has absolutely stank the place up Nash the entire upper. run. Nash is pretty. So, good. So, what's going on with Nash and Shaw? Has Nash talked at all yet? I don't think so. I don't think he's ever explained what he's doing here. Do we want him to? Um, that's a good question because I was immediately like, yeah, of course. And I'm like, wait. I mean, it is kind of cool if he's just here, just fucking people up, being old. Okay, um, I want I want to follow up on this Trish Triple H thing this week. Is but but obviously I think it'd be very strange for Trish to be feuding with other women and then <laughs> try to come down. And get involved. So, could we get some? Could somehow we get a male involved on the heel side during that feud? Um. So, does Melina know any men? I think is the question I'm asking. Oh, not anymore. She banished all of them to a strange, large home in California. (laughs) Are there any men? That's funny that she did that. Like that, that the idea that she's responsible for uh, what's happening. She, she um, gave them the name too. She doesn't even. She doesn't even want the M M&M and M name. She's like, ah, you take that whole branding, like all that, all I, that established no, stuff. You take that. Uh, even though she was in charge of it, I feel like she doesn't have control over M M&M and M because without the rest of the team, she's just M. Damn. She shit. That's actually kind of what if kind of fire if she just calls herself M. What if because big yeah. M. Um, what if, uh, oh crap, where was I going with this? Oh yeah, I was like, what if there was another group of, that had the initials M, N, and M? Would that be, mm. would they have to, like, immediately fight to the death? Possibly. It's something we'd have to consider at the time. Shit. We better watch that, dude. <sighs> it's not gonna be good. Um, yeah. Melina doesn't really know any men, I don't think. Talia knows men, but I feel like it's too short notice to hire the dicks. I think they're both like locked up by TNA as well. <laughs> it seems very TNA. Shit. Yeah. TNA have got themselves the dicks. Yeah. Have you got any ideas then for how we might get Triple H involved in this? We don't have to do the follow up, but I think it'd be quite natural for like something to happen to Trish and then Triple H is like, I must help her. We are friends. Or you actually, we could just beef Melina and Triple H directly. I think I think that actually could happen. Melina could cut some sort of promo that is um 
that that pisses him off. So, so I don't know. Good. Maybe she could talk, maybe Melina could be like people have compared me to Triple H all week because of the evolution thing. She's obviously the Triple H in the group, right? Um, yeah, yeah. She was right. I think she was yep. the Triple H analog. Yep. So and then she can be like she's really insulted by that because she's way better than Triple H ever was or something like that. And then Triple H could come down and they could just you know spar at each other for a bit. That's so goddamn good, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. Okay. I'm just thinking of like Triple H getting seriously pissed off. <laughs> He's just like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill this woman. God damn it! It's like, damn, bro, fucking. Oh, Jesus it's 2007, Christ. so he's probably just going to drop a bunch of slut shaming lines. Oh, um, true, um, yeah. Yeah. I could never also, be such a whore. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm surprised you managed to be, you know, out here in the in the ring for more than 10 seconds without trying to hook up with somebody or something like that. Um, you have a vagina. <laughs> you have a vagina. Are you uh, aware of that? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I don't know how we follow up on that, but as far as I'm concerned, that's this week's TV done <laughs> in terms of Melina and Triple H. Yeah. If you're okay with that. Cool. So Big Show, do you remember what that do you remember what this was? Yeah, why did this need like a Amy a Burke segment. special? Yeah. What the hell is Amy Burke? It's uh Amy and Elijah are announcing their engagement. <laughs> yeah, who the fuck is that? <laughs> uh yeah. Why do we need an Amy Weber thing on this? don't know he's a hardcore uh, let's come up with an idea like he's a hardcore giant he hates the new breed for some reason <laughs> he's just he's a bad guy all right he's just <laughs> he's done with their shit um i was trying to find if there was anything for this oh big show could totally team with someone oh. to fight new breed this week was it like reactions to rvt going to politics yes yes i think it was that's exactly what it was wasn't it yeah maybe big show could be booked in a tag team match with the tag team new breed so the non-elijahs and he, he has to find the his tag team non-elijahs <laughs> But he has to find his tag team partners for the match. Elijah um, Burke and the non Elijahs. <laughs> but what if he if he just can't find the tag team partners willing to team with him because he's the big show and he's been a massive dick for the last year. So we just have this based one on three handicap match where he hits them with a bunch of weapons the entire time. That's heat. That's heat. Alright. Uh I yeah, remember Shel what this was. Oh yeah, Shelton was just like, yeah, I don't even want like a. Yeah, he got himself counted out. I think because this was supposed to be a number one contenders match. Right. Like, Not all yours, bro. And then Vince came out and was like, no, nah, no, nah, <laughs> this is fuckers. this is bullshit. Fight everybody. <laughs> so, at that point, then, so what's going? I think because we know what's going on with Bobby and. Cena, and we can do the angle about that. Maybe actually, ooh, hold on. No, scrap the Big Show thing. Okay. Cena and Big Show should fight the entire new breed tonight. Right? You get where I'm going with that? It's like a punishment. It's like, you're going to fight through stage of hell on Saturday, and tonight you're going to go through hell when you fight the new breed. Did you mean to say Big Show? No, I meant to be. I meant okay. To I was like, I was like, okay, I get it. Because Cena's like, just he's a good guy. He'll just help people out against, no, against no, the no. bad guys. So that you Cena, were like, uh, Cena before. And I, well, no, I said scrap the Big Show thing. If that's maybe. maybe oh, that's probably that was probably why I thought. I assumed it was because this is what Big Show's doing now. Big Show was fighting the new breed, but I don't want to. Uh, instead, I want Lashley and Cena to fight the entire new breed. And if Matt Morgan's still on payroll, him as well. And Shane McMahon, you know, one of the, you know, the, the, te the, te the two on 10 match, but as many people as we can fit into it. Um, oh, I see. Yeah, I like that. I like this version of it. If they, they, if we just decide this is the night to do this angle. Yeah, because it's uh, Vince, the reason why it's three stages of hell on Saturday is because Vince is punishing the both of them. Yeah. Right. He and so he's like, fuck other. it. You're yeah. You're, and tonight you're going to have to coexist fighting against all of my boys. I love it. Um, then I don't know if we can do that in the game. I'm sure there's a version of two on something that can work. 
He's like 205, probably. That'll be fine. Yeah, fair. Uh, Shelton needs... So Big Show needs content again, but that's not that hard. Shelton needs content. Um, yeah, Shelton does need some something to do. Should Vince go after him a bit this week because he fucked up his main event? Maybe. That's kind of a lot of Vince for this show. I'm not against it. He should be everywhere. I don't hate that we're starting to beef him and Shelton. What if we do it, but without a heavy Vince presence? So Shelton gets some sort of punishment, but it, like it's not like Vince shouting at him. It's just the punishment happens, and it is implied or explicitly stated by Combs that this is because Shelton was not like... I like that. The, so what could the punishment be? Because like, we're doing two handicap matches. I was just saying, unfortunately, <laughs> everybody's brain jumps to a handicap yeah. match. Um, <laughs> so we can't do another handicap match. What if Shelton has to, like, carry bags or, or set up the ring or uh, uh, doesn't doesn't get to fly? Or what if... <laughs> okay, this is out there, so I'm expecting this not to go, but fuck it, throw shit at a wall. What if Shelton gets banished to the Eminem house for the week? <laughs> that's funny that's funny um probably not sufficiently serious for what we're going for though but hey if you like it i'm down it is it is pretty good my thought here what i'm looking at is i was like do we have anybody who is especially like a gimmick match unfortunately sabu fucked off so we can't be like ah you'll be in a tables match against sabu and then sabu will lose again and we'll be like oh <laughs> um Another idea I have is he could force Shelton to fight one of the DMLS boys in an attempt to... Or no, he's not even involved in the DMLS Ooh. stuff. Never mind. He's not. Because my first thought was like, oh, we could like make everybody feel awkward about each other in that situation. And that's Vince like... I mean, revenge. I feel so I know what you're going for there, and even though Shelton's not involved, maybe he could fight Charlie. That was my first idea. Um, I don't. I think that's a bit too nuanced for what we're going for. Yeah, if, if I'm being honest. Yeah. Oh, what if he has to fight Kevin Nash? <laughs> that's the <laughs> ultimate punishment, bro. Holy shit! Well, Kevin. Well, he's a big, strong dude, right? He hurts people. He works stiff. Big Daddy Lamau, baby. Big Daddy Lamau. <laughs> Laughing at your ass. By, by the way, very heat, very us, 07 Raw match. Shelton Benjamin versus Kevin Nash. So fucking crazy, dude. Holy Christ. I mean, that's that's my... So I, I've got two... Either, either something minor, but not ultimately silly. So he just, like, has to put up the ring or carry bags or something like that. Or Kevin Nash. I won't go to other ideas, but those are the ones that I've heard so far that I like. I'm also not against the the, MLA, the um, Eminem house, but um, that's not necessarily my. I think the Nash idea is the best. Who knew we'd get Kevin Nash and his role would be yeah weekly TV worker. I actually. like Kevin Nash. The idea of big man does power bomb, you know, appeals to me. That's all <laughs> he's doing at this point too. Yeah. He's he's just he's. Kind of getting his leg up as high as he can to hit that big boot and doing a power bomb. <laughs> That's all I'm asking. Um. Yeah, I think that's all. I think I think I think we can book this show. Hell I think yeah, we're, in our, I think we're going in the right direction here. You want to look at Slam Aversary at all before we get in? I'm happy to. Ma Ra I was just saying, Maven. Raven put on a hell of a performance. Apparently, yeah, he fucking did. Jesus Christ. Where's Punk? Where's Punk? Where's Punk? Where's Sam? Where's he's on Bruce? the he's on the pre-show. There he is. Look at him. He's still losing. They've not let him win yet, but we'll see. It's crazy. The the over the course of the the existence of this series, based. the perception of Punk has changed quite a bit. Also, yes, very based. Trace based. Based, based, based. It's Bradshaw's company, by the way. He's been yeah. without a doubt their ace. It's fucking crazy. How much better would it be if TNA was just built around a big southern guy throwing a throwing a lariat? God yep. damn. 
Honestly, the Bradshaw TNA, I'm better, I'm bigger and better than this shit. I'm a modern day Hanson run. Continues to be the most base thing that's in my head that's not actually in the game. <laughs> yeah, he's like, to me at least, he's like modern day Hanson, but still with like the big league and you elements, especially mm -hmm. now in TNA. He's like a fucking multi millionaire. He does this for fun. He just likes fucking hitting people with lariats. <laughs> I could leave if I wanted Literally, to. Literally, I could go I don't, back. I don't need this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do this for fun. Oh shit, we, I, I do have a, a location. Let me go get it. Based. I don't know why, but I thought that said like jujitsu or something. I was like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, Amy Weber doing karaoke. Wow. <clears throat> what the hell is that wrestling industry? Oh god. It is 2007. Christ. Yeah. This is this is accurate. Ooh, June week four. Apparently we're in Tacoma. Tacoma, Washington. Yes, sir. Northwest. Northwest. Yeah. Nice. All right. Okay, I think I know how I want to structure this open. So, first of all, uh, Bobby Lashley is going to come down, I think. Yep. And cut like a mini like, little ace promo-ish, where he's like, you know... I think he's not going to be... He's not going to whine. He's not going to be like, oh, I've, I've had all of this thrown at me. What he's going to be is like, I, you know, I was given a number of challenges. I was given a number of hurdles, and I passed every single one. And now I am back at the peak of the mountain, and I've got the opportunity of a lifetime. And this Saturday, when the lights are on bright, I am going to bring everything I have, and I am going to win the WWE Championship, because that is my dream. And then Cena can come down? Yeah, I might add. Um, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Not to... I do want to avoid the whining, as you were saying. Um, but I do think mentioning, like... You know, I, I worked under Mr. McMahon for the better part of two years, did everything I was ever asked to do. Um, and then I finally went and tried to get something for myself. And this is uh, this is the result. <laughs> like. I guess we don't know it's three stages yet, do we? No, that's, that's, we'll know by the end of the angle. Mm. All right, maybe. All right, never mind. No, well, I guess you could say, like, you know, I, I worked under Vince for two years, um, did everything I was ever asked to, uh, and now for the first time in a while, you know, I'm, I'm doing things for myself. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going for it, and uh, apparently... Feels good. Yeah, yeah, feels good, and apparently some people don't like that. Do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah, we think it's John. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm very happy. Why? Why would you drop my music then? Fuck? <laughs> Bobby Lashley. Bobby Lashley, the Dominator. This Saturday, we are going to have a hell of a match. We're going to have a hell of a contest. And the world is going to see that you are the real deal. Because I've seen it week in, week out. You've put the work in. And everybody this Saturday is going to see just how good you are. Because you are at the top level. You are at the elite level. You deserve to be challenging for the WWE Championship. And I believe, Bobby, that one day you are going to be the WWE Champion. But that day is not Saturday night. See, Bobby, you are elite. You are top, oh. top level. But there are levels to this game. And while you're at the very top... There's a level above that, and that's where I am, all right? There is nobody else in this business, in this company, in the history of this game that is on my level. And this Saturday, the world's going to see just how good you are, but they're going to see that I'm just that much better. And then Vince can come out. <clears throat> Sick here, sorry. All right, it's all good. You all right? There might be a cat at my door. Hold on. Uh oh, God. Just one sec.
That's a door very far away. Sorry, that was fucking weird. I got a text that was just like, I think there's a cat stuck in your room. And I'm like, what? what? Where? There's, there is one. He's asleep on the bed. Anyways. Sorry. Uh, yeah, Vince is going to come out. And I Hell think, yeah. Um, I think that promo is yours. Ah! <laughs> that's, the, that's the Vince noise. So you know he's going to start talking. He goes, ah! You too! You sons of bitches. You could have had it all. You're perfect. Both of you. I hate it. I hate it so bad. You're everything that I want in a main event. But the way that this has come about has bruised my pride. My ego has been hurt. And you know what happens when my ego has been hurt? I lash out. And Bobby... This is surprisingly self-aware from Vince. <laughs> I mean, listen, I watched this 07 stuff, okay? Vince is, like, telling you exactly what the fuck is going on. He's like, this is how I feel. This is how the other people feel. I am not at all doing subtlety anymore. This is 2007. Everybody who had any interest is gone. I am an asshole. Yeah, I am a mean man, if you didn't know. And I you, am the bad guy. You too. Do gooders, I'm gonna make you fucking kill each other. That's right. One of you is going to die. Hopefully both. Preferably both. Pre pre preferably both, but I will settle for one of you. Uh, because then the other one I'll just I'll send all my goons and we'll beat the shit out of you. <laughs> he turned to Take JR for a minute. He turned tonight. to JR. <laughs> yeah, anyways. Tonight, in our main event, you two can team up against the world as your plan seems to be I like that and you're gonna take on some number I don't know I'll get back there and I'll figure as it out as many men as I can throw at you as many men as this limiting ass game lets me <laughs> anyways yeah I'm uh, uh you should probably also talk about three stages of hell <laughs> yeah as I was saying uh you're gonna kill each other both of you maybe and it'll happen Saturday. Hell on Earth is called Hell on Earth. Because you two are going to be stuck inside three stages. Ah, what are our stages? I think we had this at some point, didn't we? Can I suggest No Holds Barred, uh, um, uh, Stretcher, and Submission? Stretcher? That was one of the three stages from this era. Shouldn't Stretcher be the last one? I didn't do that in order. We can rearrange. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, put him on the Stretcher, load him in the ambulance, and wheel him out of the arena. Now he's got to come Hell. back for the submission match. <laughs> Hell, we can start with the submission. I think that's good, because both men, Vince could start like, neither, both of you refuse to give up. You're too stubborn. So we'll start with a submission match to tire you out from the start. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that one will yeah. go the longest in his head. Yeah. That's perfect. And then we can do no holds barred, and then into Stretcher for the final... Or ambulance. Any sort of, either works. Yeah, it's unfortunate a little bit, because it's like three stages of hell, hell on earth, hell in the cell, but I don't really want to do that here. Yeah, I'm very much against three stages of hell in a cell, I'm not going to lie to you. Every single stage in the hell in a cell? That's crazy. That or, or hell in a cell being one of the stages. Either of those are not good outcomes to me. Yeah, fair play. Yeah. It's it's I don't hate it. I think it's fun, but I'm very much a like let's protect the prestige of Hell in a Cell guy. Mm, like, yeah, you, I hear you. You wheel it out for feud enders involving the Undertaker or Triple H. Yep, that's right. Uh, okay, there you go. McMahon lights him up. <laughs> bang bang. Oh yeah, Vince 12? is also a gangster, so maybe he'll say that's a true. Maybe he'll say that's a drive-by and then drop the mic. 
Brain's like, that's not what that means, but whatever. Uh, let's also get our truth there backing him up. Yeah, his boy. <laughs> not a wrestler, by the way. Yeah? Not a wrestler, you, our truth. Is this, you need to explain <laughs> you behind this meme. Like, are you saying that because you think that's a ridiculous take? Or are you saying that because you want to reinforce that that's true? <laughs> I just think it's funny. <laughs> That's genuinely you, it. Okay, what's the source of the of the of the humor there? I don't know. I, I think it's just like we got this guy and he's really good. Yep. And we we just don't we just don't let it work. It's funny as fuck. <laughs> like <laughs> he's it's the correct thing though, right? You're you're with me. Cause he could just start working tomorrow if you wanted him to. But I think this it would is be, better. It would be weird if he just started working tomorrow at this point. We could make it work, but I just think this is a better role for him. And hell, he can wrestle in the main event. Yeah, yeah, the, the main event spot is definitely a place to put him, I think, yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, let's go. Let's have Jonathan Coachman sell some DVDs. Oh man, the walls are closing in, folks. I don't have much time left. the The portal, I, I can see it in the distance, but I can't get there. It's closing. I'm gonna be stuck here forever if you don't buy some DVDs. You know, just like Coachman thinks. Yeah. The ramblings of Johnny Coach. We're gonna close this angle by like somebody comes through a door like off to the side. He's just been like in a dark room the entire time, freaking out. <laughs> and they're like, "What the fuck, dude?" John, I think people call him Johnny. Johnny Coach. I don't know. I don't know what they call. Probably just Coach, right? Yeah, probably. All right, two on one handicap match. Oh yeah, based. We can do a two v four. We can. That is that is the. Is that that's fine? That's, Hold on. That's exactly the new breed, so that would be okay. Hold on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, it's two v four. Two v four. That's bullshit. Hey, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, brother. Uh, two v one, right? Yeah, for this one. Is this the? This is Mark Henry versus the Hardys. I thought so. Yeah, a lot of a lot of handicaps going on. It's kind of heat. Yep. There's a lot of cool groups and tags here on Raw. A lot of them. Yeah. Uh, we do need to check one more storyline, but let's book this in first because I've just thought to myself, there's one group of people I'd like to make sure we know what their direction is. Yeah. Um. <sighs> Okay, so obviously, my instinct is the Hardys win, because obviously the two people should beat one, and the Hardys are a good tag team. I was going to say, and, and Jeff is Jeff is worth not uh, doing this to, in my opinion. If this was like also Jake Hardy Jeff. and not Jeff Hardy, then then We did the absolutely. Jeff win last week, um, uh, and I don't think it necessarily like makes the Hardys look like jobbers to lose to Mark Henry. He's just, he is just an insane human being. Um, I'm leaning towards Mark. I'm not going to lie to you. Jeez, uh, really? You're really against that, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Feels a little... That feels tough to me. Yeah. I mean, he is, he is a very large man. Yes. He, he is... He was like wrestler of the year last year. Main evented WrestleMania. Jeff has already beaten him once. The baby faces later will beat the odds. In the, in this feud? No, not in this feud. Oh, but yes. in the main event. You're, well, actually, that's a good point because I actually was thinking maybe the other way. Oh, they just beat them up. <laughs> no, I mean the Bivins just put on a good show. Yeah, yeah. But the but the new breed end up winning. That's so goddamn funny. Oh, oh, sorry. No, I was thinking of the main event, not the. Wait. The main event is the new breed versus John Cena and Bobby Lashley. 
I see. Okay. It was going to involve more people. Right. Since yes. we're limited to four, I think the new breed makes sense. The as perfect four. four. Yeah. 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 I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. So, but because the, ha- the 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 bigger team are winning in the main, I feel like that helps sell Mark winning here more, right? Yep. Yeah. You're right. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Well, let's find a way to make it because I agree that there's some like weirdness to it because this is a great tag team recently tag team champions two very capable wrestlers how 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 are we justifying mark mark getting the win mark henry pulls out a big pipe and just beats them with it mm, i think that's big show's gimmick ah unfortunate <laughs> Chaos is a ladder. One of them just like pulls out a ladder and is like, I'm going (laughs) to do a fucking flip and kill this big guy and then just dies. Yeah, actually, that's a very Hardy Boys thing, actually. That's perfect. (laughs) What the fuck? One of them just Jeff just starts setting up a fucking ladder. Matt's like, what the hell are you doing? He's like, I'm a dive on him and kill him and then he just misses and fucking dies that's like oh okay i thought that oh, started as god. a meme but you've actually sort of sold me on it yeah so. that's like oh oh okay. god fuck and mark just picks up the pieces it's like jesus yeah, i'm done all right there you go i like so obviously just to give it a bit more i feel like it's a bit of a, ba- a war that has led to jeff doing this you know they, oh they yeah, yeah. Him and him they, and Mark yeah. have some have some heat going on too, right? Yeah. So, or but I don't even necessarily think it's a heat filled war. It's just the, like both t- sides want to win, mm. and both sides are very strong. And like the Hardys, it, by all accounts, should be winning this match, right? But Mark isn't dying. Yeah, so, so Jeff has to resort to the yeah, because Jeff is like, well, we can't lose this. That that'd be that'd be ridiculous. We are, um, you know, recent tag team champions. Yeah, for we we got to find a way. And Jeff's like, yeah. I know a way. <laughs> I know a way. Yeah. <laughs> Just like set up a big ladder. It's like the it's like the 20 foot ladder, whatever. And it's like, what yeah. the what the fuck? <laughs> like, what is going on here? All right. Yeah, there you go. Um, a crazy bump, I guess, for Jeff. Right. Yeah. There you go. Of course, he's game because he's the goat. Um. Length on this. I feel like it's longer. Nine. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, You good? Yeah, I was just realizing possibly you had mentioned by direction for another group. Yes, DMLS. Oh, I was thinking that group being the entire women's division but no we know what's well we know what melina is doing tonight i'm happy for you to do stuff with trish too um yeah i'm just trying to figure out where i was in my notes and shit like that um um someone asked about fcw and ovw we did a weird switch but we we've we've tried to make it so that we've got fcw it is it is fucked but that's okay you don't have to look at it so (sighs) don't worry about it that's my pain um we did we did the big like yeah we did the big angle so i want to do so i've thought about this i'm not sure if i ever pitched this with dmls i want to do a thing where they're both going after the tag belts oh sorry they're all going after the tag belts and charlie and cody don't go can't win them but then william and uh, yeah yeah, yeah, I like that. I like that we we ended up going with my thing on that. That's fun. A lot of my shit's ending up in this. Um, Which I'm part a, specifically? Because I, I forget. Uh, like, like okay, well, the original idea of, like, somebody coming in and being a bad influence. And, like, mm-hmm. I oh, guess... yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I always loved that as an idea, yeah. Yeah, Especially and I'm, an like... Older, an older person as well. Yeah, yeah, I'm, like, I guess that's not, like, a super, um, like, original idea or something. But, yeah, I, that was my thing. And then, um... Ted being the nastier of the two was yes. something I said. I was like, he should be, well, he should have a fucking edge to him. Well, we recently did that, had that conversation about how I think we could use his negative charisma to our advantage, right? Mm, we, yeah, yeah. You know, he could be, 
He's a bit. He's a little bit of a psychopath, you know. We could play into that. It's not all there, brother. He's he's yeah. getting the Randy Orton going to that place line. Honestly, better him than Randy. <laughs> so yeah. we it could be cool if we spun Legacy off and he's the Age of Steel man, and Randy's our Randy. <laughs> Anyway, that's another. That's for another day. And you're to be like, listen, I'm just really violent. Okay, that guy's legitimately <laughs> yeah. disturbed. I don't. I don't know. I don't get, yeah, I feel very uncomfortable when I speak to him. Yeah. I don't. I don't know what's going on with him, man. Um. Anyway, where did we leave off DMLS last week? So obviously, Regal had that conversation with, 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 with Cena. Yeah. Where it's like we're. You know, we're we're not on we're we are not the same. I guess is probably the the point of that combo. Did DMS fight in that main? No, probably not. I was wondering if they all got involved Actually, in I, that main. I think they probably did. Like a lot of people got involved in that main event, and that's how Lashley figured out a way. Um, do we holding pattern? Do we maybe do a DMS tag this week? Charlie and William like showing the young boys how it's done. So, so you think this was? To me, I remember this being more positive. Like, yeah, no, I agree. Okay, but I, I, I don't, I don't think it was like we're cool. No, no, but it was like, <laughs> it was like we're cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, I was like, I remember it being like we're not best friends, Enemies, but yeah. we don't have to fight each other, especially now when there's no. Right, because it was wasn't Regal like I thought. Um, d didn't he think like John was like ungrateful or undeserving or something like that? And he's like, I the new breed so. kids are even more that way. I Maybe don't think so. I don't. I think you're pulling something out there. I don't know what that's from. Then that's from something. Um, I mean, honestly, it doesn't really matter what we did. It's what we want to do. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Um. I don't know. My use of clear the air just makes me think it was generally not like a I agree. negative occurrence. So what do we what do you mean? What do you what do we do with that? <laughs> What's the point? That's a good what question. What was the point? Because <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I, I'm not against that. I just don't know what it means. <laughs> no, I, I don't even know what this means in general. Um, what about that? idea? I just pitched just it's a whole pattern week. Regal and, and Charlie do do a tag match where they show the young kids how it's done. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Should they just fight the Cowboys? I feel like those are decent opponents. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, maybe we, we can book it in and fill it. In yeah, we'll, we'll fill it. Yeah. Uh, Charlie Haas, William Regal. Are you not officially a member of DMLS? You can, you can click stables right there. Yeah, I know. He's not. Should I throw him in there? Sure, yeah. I mean, he's going to be there for a little bit. There you go. He looks so different than the rest of them. He's on white. <laughs> um, he is a white man. White. Uh, white! Points. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's the, that's the good one. I know exactly what you're referencing. That's the best. Um, Murdoch and Cade, you think? Uh, I don't mind. Your call. Your your choice. I'm with you, no matter what. All right. The two. The two others. <laughs> not Roy Walker. <laughs> not, not, yeah, the non Roy Walker. Not the star. <laughs> I can't believe like Chris Harris ended up like benefiting. He's still much better off being Roy Walker here. <laughs> like it's like he's he's in the money now. Like. <laughs> There's a chance all this cowboy stuff devolves, and we just end up keeping him at some point. Who knows? <laughs> yeah, like he's probably, it's probably right. Yeah. Um, it's kind of crazy. There you go. There, ringside. Um, give. Might as well put Roy there as well. Yeah, I did. Oh, you did. Okay. Um. Yeah. Five. Uh, yeah, that sounds reasonable. That's fun. It's quick. Charlie and Regal both take turns, like, dumping them on their heads, you know? 
Yeah, doing some holds as well. I think it's mostly holds rather than dumping them on their heads. But yeah. Fair. I was like back suplex type shit. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Some of that, yeah, some of that for sure. Probably more Charlie the Regal on that one. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. Um, so for the filling angles, we can do Slam of the Week. Yep. I don't remember what it is, so you're going to have to check SmackDown. Oh, I know what it is. It's the fucking... Oh. Yeah. Oh, it's a cage. Yeah, oh, it's a yeah. cash-in. Holy yeah. shit, yeah, that was that show. Yeah. Hey. That's fine. Listen, there was a reason why I knew it was okay to take a little bit on SmackDown, <laughs> even though I did want to get it done. Uh, get it out earlier. Um, is it up? That was a public. Yeah, it should be. Cool. Oh, oh I, yeah. I, 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 need, I need to go check those Shit. comments. <laughs> please, please do check that. I had meant to sure. check that when I did it because I did it on my phone, and then I went to my YouTube page and I didn't see it at all. Okay, I'll check. I'll check after this. It's fine. So if not, then that's been like that for a couple days. <laughs> Shit. Um. Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so slam, slam the week. The week. The yeah. Yeah, Chavo. Yeah, for those who have not seen the series, uh, Chavo Guerrero is your world heavyweight champion. Uh... And then we can do... What do we? Oh yeah, Shelton's gonna face Big Daddy Lamau. Lamau. Let's do. Uh, let's do a quick little interview with it, like an interview person with uh, with Big Daddy Lamau. Oh, he's talking. No, sorry, not with Big Daddy Lamau. Sorry, with Shelton. We can do Big Daddy Lamau if you want, but you said you wanted to stay quiet, so I meant I did mean with Shelton. Yeah, I think I think if we decide to do the more talking angles with him, that or I guess I should say if I'm, we do if we end up well, doing. If, for what is worth, I'm really pilled on him being the SmackDown authority figure afterwards. Now, oh, I shit. That okay. Based. <laughs> so based. Yes. I just think but he gets I, him, it. him next to Chavo, uh, it's a look to me that I really like later he's, on in the year. Yeah, and he's also, he's also the perfect GM for this Chavo shit, eventually, so to get a yep. little out of hand. <laughs> yep. I'm a, hand, I'm a hands-off manager. What can I say? <laughs> um, yeah. Anyways, this was uh, an interview with Shelton. It's Shelton, yeah. Uh, Maria, fuck it. How do you feel about facing Scott Hall tonight? Maria, Scott Hall died like three years <laughs> ago. Like I, I don't know how to, I don't know how to tell you that. Oh, Shawn Michaels should uh, should crash this angle. Warn Shelton about Kevin Nash, and then also say, "But he's mine." <laughs> so you know, don't don't hurt him like, too bad, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want him to be fit for this. Uh, That's some this good Saturday. shit. That's some good shit. Yeah. Watch out for the power bomb, Shelton. Don't power bomb you. <laughs> Don't let him power bomb you. That's a good advice, Sean. Yeah. Wow. I'm learning so much, Maria says. <laughs> um, yeah, this is gonna backfill that. Uh, uh that doesn't need to be is that continuing? I guess is is Nash off screen there? Yes. Then that's fine, it can be six. It's a, a reasonable length on that angle anyway. Yeah, it's Sean Sheldon uh, talking. They're yep. both really good. Um, Agree. I think I can just go straight into the match. I was gonna say, do the match, come out of that. Yep. Um, little bridge into the top of the hour, I'd say. So maybe we can sell when we we've announced Wembley SummerSlam, right? So we right, can sell yeah. some tickets. Get uh, who? Who's a who's a cello bitch? Um. <laughs> Jonathan Coachman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still, I'm still here, but now they've asked me. The, the entities have asked me to offer something else. We've got these Wembley tickets. Um, oh, shit. Wow, yeah, I guess it is him, isn't it? Fuck. It could be Vince. I mean, I think Vince has been in these packages for uh, for most of the of the. Oh, I like it. He can like ham it up. I'm taking, I'm taking back Britain for America. 
I think you had this line where it was like, at the start of the year, we gave wrestling back to the people, um, stealing away from pay-per-view. Now I bring wrestling back to the British. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I brought <laughs> wrestling back to the people. Now I'm going to bring it back to the British. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Uh, oh, that's so good. Um, I don't know what fuck to spell Wembley. Like that? I think that's right, yeah. Not, <clears throat> it's not Wem. It's not Wembley. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. It might be. It might be the L and the E the other around, but I think that you're. I think that looks right to me. Wembley. Wembley. Uh, cool. And then top of the hour. I guess we. So we have that Triple H Molina thing, which really could go top of the hour extended. <laughs> it is a top of the hour <laughs> type beat. <laughs> like it could be. Um, <laughs> I'm looking, God damn, two thousand seven Raw man. Just watching the thing that we, we are doing right now, it's like, oh my god, they they suck. They suck really bad. Um, what was the other things we had on this show? Or was that it? Uh, what were the other things we had? Um, New Breed is locked up in the main. Um, you'd ask me if I wanted to do any other women stuff. Yeah. Although I don't think that's going to be here at the top of the hour, even if you do. No, yeah, yeah. Um, if anything, it's like a small backstage angle where Mickey apologizes to Trish for being late those couple times. Mm. I don't know if you remember that like, or not. She's been do, late to I, the run-ins constantly. Like, and I like that because it's important, but it's not. Yeah. Blow away. Um, but there's probably room for you to do that here before top of the hour, actually. Do you want to do that? Yeah, sure. Um, Trish Stratus is, uh, I don't know, what, what do you do here when you're not wrestling? Um, warm up for wrestling. Warm ups, yeah. She, she's warming up for a match that she does not have, which is... It's Trish Stratus behavior. She's the they tell me it's, I say, they tell me that's elite. That's, that's the Mamba mentality. Um, Mickey James will come up to Trish and she says... Um, that she's really fucking sorry that the last couple weeks when Trish has been, you know, outnumbered or, or getting fucked up, um, that Mickey's been late. Um, I guess I should just, like, camp the monitor from now on. I'm sorry, man. Like, my, my fucking bad. I, um, Trish is like, oh, yeah, you know, it's cool. Um, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get him. We'll, we'll, we'll get him. Mm. I like that. It's very on brand. He's like, hell yeah. Thanks for not being mad about things. You're a cool dude, Trish. I appreciate you. There you go. Uh, and then, yeah, I mean, I, unless you can think of anything else that deserves to go here, I'm feeling like it's this Triple H, Mickey J, uh, sorry, Melina. <laughs> so god to dude. It's so god to you. Triple H genuinely pissed doing his like I'm thinking him doing like the biggest like mania build he has to for this like <laughs> mini <sighs> bit. Yeah. I hate you. You are everything I hate. Check out my melody. <laughs> yeah. Um four on this, I guess. Yeah, that works for me. Okay, top of the hour, perfect. Triple H comes out, fucking just calls Melina a bitch, bunch. Well, I, I, yeah, we're starting with Melina doing her promo. Yep. Yeah, and then Triple H will take offense to some of the words, some of the language used by Melina in the promo. Yeah, I was watching you talk to Trish Stratus last week, and then now I'm listening to the way you talk about me right now. Are you deaf, dumb, blind, stupid? What's the deal here? All right? Because clearly... Well, I guess you, you have been friends with Shawn Michaels for a while, so that explains a lot. That's hurtful. That's very hurtful. The truth. <laughs> <He's like, laughs> oh. He stops being angry and starts being sad. Yeah, he's like, oh. <laughs> he's, like, he's like selling his chest. He's like, oh, my God. She's right. I am friends with Shawn Michaels. Not anymore, though. Because I betrayed yeah, right. him. <laughs> Get your facts straight, Melina. You don't even know what's going on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't betray me. I betrayed him. It's different, okay? 
How about you? You don't even you don't even have any friends. You've got like this one lady who hangs around you. That's weird. What's oh, yeah, what's that about? That's a good, good point. We should have Dick Master out there. Yeah, she is out there. Oh, sorry. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's really just like ah, you got the you got the the the. She just hanging around you. She's not even your friend. I don't think you two are friendly at all. This, no, is, me, just, me, this is 2007, me, raw baby. <laughs> Me and me and Dave were friends, really friends. That's why we always talk to each other still to this day. <clears throat> he calls me sometimes. I, I don't answer. Yeah, uh, you know. Is this some kind of reference to the Molina Batista thing, or no? This is just oh. the, the fact that Dave and Triple H are not friends. Oh, I I see. Wow, this They're really is 2007. Raw. Holy, holy <laughs> Christ. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Triple H is just like um, you don't. You would know greatness if it uh, mm. kicked you in your uh, lady place and you drove your head to the mat. You've got a long way to go before you can even lace my boots, Melina. <laughs> At WrestleMania, I'm going <laughs> to kick your ass. Um, yeah, and also you should show. Trish Stratus some respect because you're right this whole week you have been being compared to me Triple H and I have also taken offense to it because if there's anybody in this division who deserves to be called the Triple H of the women's division it's certainly not you it's Trish Stratus Triple H just starts with his like unneeded unwarranted slut shaming he's just like yeah. you remind me of a sex worker you should cover your breasts more that's not a champion that's not a champion brother my boots, it's Hulk Hogan. Often, i often find you at that level yeah there you, go. <laughs> you might not be lacing my boots but i but i heard from the boys you got plenty of experience going down low hey big fucking pop Fuck women. DX, Fuck women. Fuck women. Yeah! <laughs> Big pop. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. Shawn Michaels is watching him. He's like, wait. If, if, he's so still, if he's still going to be the DX guy, why can't we be friends? <laughs> yeah, he still wants to do the, the thing. <laughs> Uh, Which is what I like, by the way. I feel like Triple H very, uh, has not changed in this like new heel turn yet. So he's just the DX guy still. He's just, he wants to beat Shawn Michaels. That was what it was about. Triple H unwanted slut shaming. That's what this angle's called. Yep. I think we should stick at six um, yep. and put Trish Stratus off screen. That's what a fantastic angle. I think it's, I, I can't tell how much of it is like you appreciating it and you just like liking it for its stupidity. But I actually think it's pretty good. I, I think the era and just like, I don't know, man. It's just so fucking funny that like TNA, to be fair, TNA is the exact same way, like right around this time. So it's not like a, a WWE problem or something like that. It's just like a wrestling culture thing. Where it's just like, fuck you, women. Fuck you. Fuck you, women. <laughs> You're stupid. It's like, damn. What the fuck? We have room to wrestle one more time on this show. Um... Man, we should get Robert Satkowski out there. Um, he's gone, bro. He's gone. Oh, wait, no. We don't have room to wrestle one more time. We, we gotta, already have our match. We, we got to drop in on Eminem as well. Holy shit. That's a good point. We should remember that. But our match is Kevin Nash versus Shelton Benjamin. Oh, you're right. Is that right now? That's right now. That is right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Da, da, da. A dream match. Genuinely, though. <laughs> happening right here before our eyes, folks. Uh, the main's not going to go that long, so th I mean, we could, we could go smoke and mirrors. What can Kev do? Not oh, much. Not a lot. No, not much. Never no, mind. Ignore no. that whole smoke and mirrors idea. Yeah. Let's no. go six. Yep. Kevin Nash Let's puts his knee up for the for the for the big boot and tries to put him up for the power bomb. And yeah. does does he I get him? It. No, I think I, I think no. I think the answer is no. I think we well, can't T-bone him though. No. Or can't probably not. All right, no. No, no. Jesus Christ. Dash cannot <laughs> fucking he would just <laughs> he would just neck himself. He would just like drive himself straight fucking forward. Um He's yeah, probably gonna get do we do we do a bit of a unique finish? 
where like Nash well, she like loses goes the ankle lock, right? So that's well. So this is why I was thinking maybe Nash goes hell for leather, beats the ever loving shit out of Shelton Benjamin here. Um, Shelton gets rocked. He wasn't expecting this. Nash is a fighter from another time, Tucker. So Shelton doesn't have the tape to research exactly his He game. doesn't. He's, there's no he tape of aware. Kevin Nash. <laughs> he's not aware of the Kevin Nash wrestling style. So Shelton gets caught off guard and gets, like, wrecked. But, like, Shelton takes a little bit of a, you know, a reprieve. He rolls to the outside. Um, and then Nash is, like, charging at Shelton. Shelton can dodge out of the way. And Nash can, like, go into the crowd or into, like, a side area or something. And then Shelton can, like, roll back in and get the count out win. I like that. That's fun. Because Shelton Benjamin is an intelligent wrestler, of course. I love it. And, yeah, Nash is so focused on uh, proving his uh, proving his dominance, you know what I mean? Like, early. He's, he's early on in this run. He wants to show everybody he's a... He's like, destroyer still. Yep. There you go. Okay, now I've got, I've got this angle for post-match. <clears throat> Kevin Nash, we, we get a shot. So Shelton leaves, and we get a shot of Kevin Nash recovering from his uh, from his dive. Yep. Um, and then we, the camera is so that we're focused on Nash, and we can't really see what's going on behind him until from the audience, like, a face uh, sort of appears and rises above Kevin until it becomes it comes in shot from the camera and it's Shawn Michaels and the crowd pops huge. Sting and it's fucking attacks him. <laughs> no, but like I, I, I think I'm not describing this very well. There's like Sean sneaks up behind him, but because of the way the camera shot is, we can't yeah, yeah. see him and, until suddenly he like appears over Kevin's shoulder. He like rises <laughs> up. Yeah, it's yeah, like, oh yeah. shit. <laughs> and then like, yeah, Kevin can turn around and then they can brawl. More brawl. This can go six. Yeah. Hell yeah. More brawl. This is Saturday. These two are going to settle their differences. Saturday night for the event. Hell on earth. I hope a regular match can contain these two. <laughs> the thing is, I'd really. That, 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 that is the end of the feud. Yeah, so. <laughs> I'd really hate for this to, to go on anymore. Randy Orton, I think, should talk to an interviewer. And oh, I think I, I'm completely willing for you to I, like to change this angle, to uh, feedback on this angle, or even to scrap it. Because I think this is a turning point. But I think Randy, I think I like the idea of him talking. And, you know, Johnny will talk, you know, ask him what happened last week, what changed. And Randy was going to look into the camera and say, Edge... I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And not only did we spend a good few months at the top of the division, but you, you taught me a lot, Edge. You taught me a lot about this business. You taught me a lot about getting ahead. More <laughs> importantly, though, you taught me, <laughs> you taught me a lot about myself because Last Saturday night's main event, you beat me. And I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to whine. I'm not going to say I should have won. Because I shouldn't have. You were more clinical. You had nerves of steel. And ever since I came up in this business, ever since I beat Chris Benoit for the World Heavyweight Championship, I thought I was the killer. The apex predator. The legend killer. I thought I could do anything because I was willing to do what nobody else was willing to do. And last Saturday night's main event, you showed me that there was another soul on this planet as depraved, as dark as me. But you showed me that there were things in my life that caused me to hesitate. And Edge, that was weakness. So thank you for exposing that weakness. Because I promise you... I promise everybody else that that weakness is gone. No more hesitation. No more hang-ups. I am the legend killer. I am the top of this business. I am the best young wrestler in the world. And if you stand in my way, it's not a title reign I'm going to end. It's your whole damn career. So you best get out of my way. 
I, I like it a lot. I was thinking insuring it. And this is this is an even further like spin. This is something that like we've never discussed, I don't think, as an idea. I was sitting there and I was like, Edge proved all that to him, right? And mm-hmm. because of that, Edge deserved a warrior's retirement. Ooh, I like that. There are that. people who go out in this business sad. They go out as unknowns. They were they were at the top of their game. But the way I take people out, they go out as legends. I get we like further the legend killer thing as well yep. in like a weird way. Like um, he's not a legend killer just to fuck them over. He's like, I because this this all like this goes all the way back to the OG legend killer promos we did. Like he never hated those people. He was just disappointed as to what they became. He wanted to make sure that they. They fucked off before they ruined their legacy. Yeah, one hundred percent. Randy Orton thinks that great wrestlers deserve to die a warrior's <sighs> death, and he's the one to fucking kill them. <laughs> Lo- I love it. Great. There you go. Um, and I'm thinking now. Uh, yeah, I don't mind talking out loud with this. What we can do is next week, Orton and Sean can have some sort of like number one contenders match. And something can happen where Sean does something stupid and like it's a draw and then Vince decides, you know what? Neither of you are going to be number one contender and that will get Sean and Randy's sights and that can kick off their feud. I like it. Cool. I like it because Horton could say about Sean, like, Like you, you, you dumbass! Like you don't deserve a fucking warrior's death. I'm just gonna hurt you really badly. <laughs> I'm gonna make you go to RAW the next night, you bitch. I will not end it for you. You're gonna have to live with what I do to you. Uh, yeah. Well, to be clear, he is putting Sean on the shelf. So I don't know if oh, you had that in mind. Then no, he's not going to live with what Sean's <laughs> There you go, Randy Orton. Should we script him? Do we script Orton? Do we remember? Uh, yeah, go on. Yep. What is my line? <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, it is. It is his thing. Let's do. Oh, Eminem House. Before I forget, because I almost did again. And in fact, I can go in between those two angles rather than here. Oh, he's not the Miz. Oh God. I need Mike. He's the Mike. The Mike. The Mike. Acting, right, I think. Yeah, I think so. That's what you get. Yeah. What There's you some get sort this of plot week. line going on. Four minutes on this. That's what you get this week. Can I go in between those two angles, I think? Yep. And then are we just before we book the main, are we missing anybody? Edge, we should probably actually send on some VK. Yeah. Yeah, fair. Not for too long. We should underestimate how long it's going to take. I agree. I agree. <clears throat> no, it doesn't look like it, does it? No, no, I think we're, I think we're good. Cool. Should we do like what bridge angle can we do? Should we just do a little quick advert for S enemy? I like that. I like even better doing like a team tale of the tape so we could get like combined weight <laughs> yeah. of the new breed yeah. <laughs> and shit like that. That'd be funny. I do um, like that. I don't. Um, maybe Marcus maybe Carvon. just the comms. I don't know. Yeah, we can do Marcus Carvon on Overness and have the comms obviously be comms. Yeah, sure. Because um, Carvon's, uh, I think, probably the focus. Yeah, yeah. He practically negates one of the two big guys, the two stars. So like it's a one on three. He seen as fucked. <laughs> like Um, yeah, one minute. Main event. Main event. And he kept two on four. The motherfucking new breed. One of my favorite recent angles. One of my Serena favorite Reed. things that I, I've pitched and Putty has ran with much longer than I ever, <laughs> ever assumed this would exist for. I literally, I thought this would be a blip and then all these guys would like split off into different directions. 
Like unironically. I hope I, ho- I hope you preferred. This. Oh, Dolph is fucked. Oh yeah. Oh no, Jesus but he's fine. Christ. He can, he can still work. <laughs> he's got a damaged spine. <laughs> this is what is this, dude? Is this AEW? Huh? Are we just sending people out there crippled? <laughs> like you can, yeah, I hope you can do it, bro. You can do it. I hope you've preferred that I ran with it rather than having longing for them having split it off. Yeah, no, no. I, I'm there. There was a mo. There was a moment or two. I want to say like the very start of this year, where I was like, "Man, we're we're never gonna get to like the cool Marcus Corvon single shit." Um, and I don't know what this will even mean for Elijah. But like now, being a couple months in, doing all these different things, it's like everybody's getting to do their fun shit still. Like it's all yep. it's all good. You give me a faction with cool people that I like, and uh, you know how much I like factions. Ah, you don't like these people. <laughs> I like Corvon. I like tr- Elijah is. a lot. Corvon is crazy I like, based. I like Dolph for what he is. That's true. I don't. Even, I, I like Kenny. I think he's got a good look. I think he's got a good presentation. Kenny being like crazy tall and being like mm-hmm. a f- flip, a bit of a flip guy is is pretty sweet. Like that to me was I like, really, whoa, this I, guy's got something. These four as a group were, were a really good mix. I think they really do scream. Like we're here to take over. We're young, cocky, but they they're different as well. They all have different personality to them. Oh yeah, um, and, I, and I really like like I feel like Kenny is like prodigy. Dolph is like show stealer. Elijah is like cocky, um, and then Corbin's obviously the the bruiser. <laughs> I I would agree with all that except for to me Kenny is like is like heat magnet to me. I think he's got a very mm. hateable face. You know what I mean? Yes. He's got like a real dick bag entitled thing going on. I I think it's very easy to dislike him. I think the prodigy stuff adds that though, because it's like, he shouldn't be this good. I want to, oh, I gotta, I gotta give him the props he's due. I see. I see. That's fair. Uh, Yeah. So this one, how much time do we have left? Can you drag it down for me? Like 20 minutes. Uh, Yes, exactly. Um, We don't need all that. No. I'm thinking around 10. So maybe like nine to 12. You want to go 11? <clears throat> sure. Cool. And then, yeah, so I think... I think Elijah's going to beat Lashley. I was going to say, Elijah will pay Lashley. Protect Cena. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Protect Dolph. Oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. I would say limited involvement for Dolph, maybe. No, I think that's too far. He's working through his injury. He's gonna, it's going to be a few months as well, so we can't... That's we fair. Can't, he can't, is, we can't coddle him. He is choosing to work through this for whatever reason. Um, you can have a protect note, but I'm not I'm not limited involving him in every match. That's fine. That's fair. He's one half of the tag team champions, after all. Yeah. Anything else you want to add to this? I think think that's it we could have some bullshit but it's one of those things where like the bullshit makes sense and i don't think it's bad wrestling but this is one thing where we differ to real life 07 bookers where i'm willing to take a step back and say these fans have watched bullshit main events all month why don't we just give them this even it's already bullshit because it's four on two why yeah. don't we just like I, i'm okay with what you're about to add if that makes sense cool. thought so but maybe yeah keep our truth keep shane yeah i don't think they, Morgan out of it yeah they don't need to all be there vince is just down here to witness their destruction <laughs> yeah yeah cool i like it there you go okay thanks Bobo. yeah check out our protect that's fine that's reasonable i think bobby is like yeah He's over. yeah okay yeah. jesus christ yep. we'd love bobby lashley Bobby Lashley's been like the the star of Raw for a month, so it makes sense. He has sure. been, yeah. We've definitely been focused all about his come up here. Yep. <clears throat> Is that Raw? I yeah. I don't think we need afters. Yeah, I don't think so either. Like, v- mega death heat. Vince stands tall and like beats beats them up even more. Over the two of them, and he's like, ah, <laughs> <laughs> "This is my show." Honestly, for where things are going, I think it might warrant that. All right, let's do it then. And, and on this one, let's have Morgan and Shane and, and Truth come down. Thank you for the resub, Weber. Much appreciated. Fucking, fucking Vince. God damn it. I it guess entertainment. Yeah. yeah. He's like, oh, I fucking hate both of you. You're dead now. Ha ha. I got you. Have fun on Saturday, 
boys. What's left of you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe what I'll get say? Chavo to come and cash in. Sir, that sir, that that already happened. That already happened. Sir. Oh, I don't watch SmackDown. <laughs> ah, don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, there you go. There you go. I'm not going to name this. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Angle with <laughs> all these guys. <laughs> uh, me, Stands tall. Yeah. 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 There you go. I think we can use six. Yep. Yep. Perfect. We get an overrun and we just use it on Vince in the ring. Like, <laughs> 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 fuck yeah. Uh, we should. Check storylines. I'm sure. I'm assuming they'll be fine. I think this is a tight show. Yep, that's good. Did was Edge off screen in the yep. open promo? Okay. Yeah, Trish is off screen in the Triple H thing, right? I believe so. I will check that. I think it is. Yeah, we'll go on then. Sean and Nash have a lot of interaction tonight, I believe. Yep. This gets continued in the main. Let's actually. Why don't you take out Marcus and Henry? And chuck Bobby in there. Yeah, I, I agree. That'd be better. Um, Mark Henry, Jeff Hardy shit doesn't have a story at all to it. We could add one. I don't think we make one. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I hear you. Uh, and that Vince thing is fine. Yeah, so I guess maybe just add the John Cena storyline because Mark was in it at the start of the show. Yeah, I, I agree. <laughs> that was where I was heading. Yeah, um, and I guess for the Nash Shelton one, can you have that continue the uh, the, the Sean story? Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. Main event's good. Yep, yeah, let's run it. What's this? Oh, it's just Dolph. We're good. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Do, 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 do. Or no, it's um. Oh God! It's uh, one of love. Ah, such Whoa. a such a bad song. I liked it. Really? But, like, as a song? Was, I grew up. No, not as a song, but as a raw okay. intro. Oh, well, mm, right, well, I would argue either way. But it really fitted the graphics and stuff. And that's like, true. Da, that's da, true. Da, 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 and boom, and then you, people start like doing stuff. Oh yeah, because he's like yeah. go or whatever at the start. Yes, yeah, yeah. it's a good stuff. Yeah, that is that is pretty good. But then it's like, I wouldn't like wouldn't listen to it independently. To but he's not think. jamming out. To, <laughs> yeah, damn. I'm not a Papa Roach enjoyer. Was that Papa Roach? What the fuck? I think so. What happened to Papa Roach? Um, <laughs> Bobby Lashley was terrible. He fucking sucks. We hate it. It was a long segment. Yeah, we shouldn't we shouldn't have Bobo out there for these long raw intros. Understandable. Understandable. Yeah. It's all good though. Uh, yeah, we got all that set up. Good to go. Coach is in the DVD realm. Coach also can't talk. Nobody can talk on this show no, anymore. You always conflate these notes. That's not that he can't talk. It's just that he didn't do very well at going off script. The, the, the spot fest. Yeah, oh my course, God, it. Jeff. He gets the tag chemistry in this match. It is. Yeah. It is. But that's still crazy. Because mm -hmm. Matt also got that. Like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, Jeff. Well, Jeff is obviously a lot better than Matt. <laughs> Are you? Wow, that's crazy. <laughs> I can't believe that. Uh, yeah, Mark Henry finds a way to win after Jeff fucking bites it off a ladder. <laughs> SmackDown Slam of the Week. Sarkashian, new world champion. Chavito Heat. Yep, this does real good. <laughs> Watch out for his power bomb. He does a power bomb. Thank you, Sean. He's very tall also. Don't let that distract you. But also, he's mine. Yeah, don't hurt him, though. What? What? This what is I pretty like well. is that uh, inadvertently, we created a match in which Shelton did not hurt him. <laughs> so, yeah, I know. <laughs> actually, Shelton's, like, Shelton's such a good guy. Best guy, dude. Best guy. Uh, Willie Regal, I like, they're like handling the Cowboys, and then he just, Charlie turns his back at some point, and Regal's like, all right, fuck this wrestling shit, and just throws on a pair of brass ducks and <laughs> decks one of them and tucks it back in, and then just covers him. And he's like, yeah. Uh, yeah. Tony's like, we had him! And he's like, yeah, but we could have had him quicker. 
So oh, I, I was saying, like, Charlie is, like, back turned playing to the crowd or something. And Regal's oh, so like... Charlie doesn't even know? Yeah, yeah and Regal's <gasps> like, mm, all right, cool. Slips it on, like, decks him, throws it back in his pocket. I like that, because eventually Charlie's going to find out, and he's yep. not going to be happy. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> we should have seen the signs. Uh, yeah, I'm coming to your... I'm coming to your block, British people. Get ready. That's such a good fucking line. I brought <laughs> wrestling back to the people. Now I will bring it back to the British. <laughs> yeah, Mickey, Mickey James apologizes for being late. And Trish is like, oh, that's cool. You know, we'll but get him. It's better than nobody coming out, right? <laughs> Yeah, I've we'll, that. Yeah. we'll get him. We'll get him. Don't worry about it. We we, we got this. <laughs> you are you are a whore. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> that's just, just like God damn, Triple H. Remember this damn guy? Uh, this guy cheated on his wife with uh with a coworker. He's got he's got bad opinions whoa, on whoa, women. Whoa. All right, that's not canon yet. Oh, I see you're talking <laughs> IRL. <laughs> yeah, I'm like what this guy says in this angle is unhinged. And it's the highest rated segment of the week. And <laughs> the crowd no, in the arena goes crazy. The Sean versus the Sean and Shelton interaction was the highest rated segment. Oh, I meant for viewers. But yeah. Oh, damn. Yeah, like everybody's like, yo, you turn on the TV. Triple H is calling some woman a slut. Wait, hold on. I didn't even check. It's Molina he. was rated in this. Hello? Yeah. yeah. Based? Yeah. Do you Stacey Keebler or. Well, no, because she's a wrestler, but... Stacey was, too. She was a former women's champion. Oh, I'm thinking of Tori. Oh, I am I was thinking of Tori. Yeah. Oh. I meant I meant Tori. Wait, Tori's the Cruiserweight GM, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I meant Tori. Oh. And Tori did win the women's title. She did. Yep. Bang! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> Dave Meltzer writing up like this was the greatest Kevin Nash match <laughs> there ever was. <laughs> no, Dave Meltzer saying this wasn't my style. Four stars. <laughs> yeah, I I personally did not like this match. Five stars. <laughs> what the? I love so much that everybody reacted to that exactly how they should have, which was just what 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 what, what the fuck? <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. Wait. How, do you did you forget how this works? Hold on. Uh, more brawl, more brawl, more brawl. People don't like watching Kevin Nash brawl, apparently. You know, it's because he can't move very well, dude. You're <laughs> asking him to walk and brawl, and Sean's got to like sell for like five extra seconds because the guy can't use his knees. And to think we're doing it four years early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we're also avoiding the Kevin Nash Triple H match. Which, <laughs> what the fuck were they thinking? That's uh, like all of these guys are just super great at going off the cuff. They're all just having a great time being. They're having together. a great time, yeah. Being I like it. The unfortunate part is, I think it's probably getting over if it's good enough. Like if if yeah. it's very obvious that these guys are just having fun and fucking around, they're like getting over. It's like faces. <laughs> like, I don't think that's unfortunate. They're they've always been cool heels. And by always, I mean. Eminem, which obviously is only Nitro. I was gonna say, <laughs> but yeah, my favorite even, part is that it's like Masters. Masters, I've always pitched as like a cool heel. Yeah, my favorite part is like, yeah, like to me, it's like Nitro's very cool. Masters is kind of cool, but he's also a little dumb, I think. Um, and Mike Mazan is a is a geek. <laughs> like, good yeah. lord, what a yeah, what a guy. Although when when he gets his presentation developed, he turns he ends up being quite a cool dude. Oh yeah, oh yeah. yeah. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, yeah, Randy Orton thanks Edge for doing all that stuff for him, for proving to him what he needed to do, and because of it, he gave Edge the best send off a wrestler could ask for. And that's being horribly, horribly destroyed. Yes. Very, very glad you like this, because I thought of that, and I was like, that's the coolest like it, yeah. goddamn thing. Like, Randy Orton isn't just going around killing people. I mean, he is, 
but there's some method to it. He's not just like, I like hurting people. He's like, no, you know, you could retire sad and alone with nobody caring, but if I kick you in the middle of the head and during a Monday Night Raw, people are going to remember you. That's yep. that's a pretty good deal, isn't it? Um, I think it fits with our Randy. Yeah. A lot. Uh, tail the tape. Ready to rock. Man, that... Oh, oh. Cormac broke his nose. Jesus Christ. I mean, look, I'm, look, I'll be honest. I would enjoy this match, but I understand what you're saying. Game. <laughs> I don't. The game is wrong, and I hate it. Um, Elijah Burke performed well. <laughs> yeah, Elijah did. Elijah did real well. Yeah. Um, I think this is an especially bad night for Kenny. Kenny's had pretty good ratings before, and he's like tied with injured. He's near injured Dolph. Like, what's up with that? Kenny Dexter was off his game. Uh, really off his game, excuse me. Yeah. Double really off their game, eh? So what's up with that, eh? Is that, like, the main event spot, maybe? No. I think that'll just be random. Oh, okay. My bad. Are you thinking of old motivation? Which, as far as I'm aware, doesn't exist anymore. I think so, right? Cause... Wasn't that... That used to be the thing where it'd be like, Jimmy did an interview, and he yep. gets... He pisses his pants when he's debuting for a new company. It's like, oh, yep. that's unfortunate. <laughs> Hope I never sign you. <laughs> um, hmm. That doesn't exist, eh? Interesting. I guess you're right. Am I, am I, am I, do, I, I, I can't say with certainty, but I, uh, from my, I, I played to this game like a decent amount, as have you. But as far as I am aware, I'm not seeing those sorts of things. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm almost like caught up to you now, like with the Burning Hammer mm -hmm. GCG thing. So I've not seen any of that. I don't you're, think. you're not caught up to me in ratings, though. Uh, no, but in my save, I'm bodying my GCG, so I don't even really need to. So <laughs> I don't care. I am. Yeah, OK. I mean, there's one thing to be financially successful. It's another thing to leave a, a mark on the history of wrestling. You know, we're doing both. I'm making I mean, more money than the other guy, and I'm just... Dude, GCG's five, best match in my save is a single 90, and then it's an 80. I looked at this yesterday. Saying, in, like, six years, you've never gotten a five-star from J.K. Stallings, so I don't know... <laughs> is, JK, is J.K. Stallings both Dave and fucking Ted Turner somehow? <laughs> he's, he's the only Mark I could think of, okay? He's probably not even bored in our saves, but there you go. <laughs> That's true. But I think he's in his, like, early 20s in the late 90s. Yeah, so, so he would be bored. He would be bored. Yeah. And he probably would be watching us. Thanks, Arn. Arn's Thanks, like, Arn. yo, we, we did notice. Yeah, his nose was backwards. There was a bunch of blood, boss, I think. I think <laughs> something bad happened. <laughs> Thanks. Vince McMahon, baby. I'm gonna kill everybody. This is my show. 86? Nice. Yep, we take it, we move. We take it, move. Sick. Okay, are we good? I think we, we're gonna get out of here. Yeah, yeah, sorry about that. I guess, raw, uh, dude, I realized as we were booking it, I was like, wow, it's already four. What the hell happened? It's okay. I I I I said to only do raw for a reason. I'm I'm okay with it going an hour and a half. I don't think that's crazy. Um, okay, NBC, chill, chill. Okay, wanted, we're, we're good. I might be able to do Monday night. Okay, Monday night for you. Uh -huh. Oh, like the time we started today, for example. Ah, yeah, I work it. Okay, literally right now. On Monday, basically, my shift starts. Okay, well, we can start an hour early, right? Yeah, if you wanted to do, like, two, and then... Because I guess we could just do SmackDown, right? And then... Yeah. Yeah. So an hour earlier than we started today? Yeah, yeah, I like that. That works on Monday. Okay. So I might I might be called away. Um, okay, that's fine. Cause I've got, yeah, so I've got something that I do on Monday night, but I'm not doing it this Monday unless I'm needed. So, right, gotcha. Um, I might be called away, but uh, I, I don't think... I think I'll be available. Hmm. Perfect. Okay, folks. Well... All right, well, see you there. We keep up the pace. We'll do some fact now. Yeah, we'll see you then. Peace. Okay.